Hi friend, I created this video especially for people who have just started to make their first steps in the electronics. For any radio amateur, main devices are a soldering iron, a multimeter and of course a power supply unit. With a regulated power supply, you can test homemade constructions with different supply voltages. Considered power supply can give the load current up to 1 ampere. I assure this is enough for most radio amateurs' needs. Many people prefer factory-made laboratory power supplies. Given the huge choice that China gives us to buy in online stores, it will be easier to study the offer of the sellers and to choose the most suitable product if you will install the browser extension Alitools. It will help to study the dynamics of changes in the prices of the selected product, read comments from the buyers and track all your parcels using the plugin. The link is at the description. The power supply is linear, built on two transistors. It provides a smooth adjustment of the output voltage in the range from 0 to 15 volts. The voltage can be made more if you are replacing the Zinier diode to another with a higher voltage. It specifies the upper limit of the output voltage. A simple parametric or linear regulator is a divider on two resistors, where the output voltage is got on the lower resistor. Because of the lack of stabilizing units, the output voltage of such a circuit is strictly dependent on the input, and the output current depends on the power of resistors. Now, let's replace the divider with a variable resistor. If we move the slider, we can change the output voltage, but the problem with the current and the stability of the circuit remains. Using a simple Zinier diode, say 15 volts, will improve the situation. In this case, at the output of the circuit, we can adjust the voltage from 0 to 15 volts. And if the input voltage changes, the output will stay stable. But it is clear, such a stabilizer has too low power and can't be used as a laboratory power unit. For this purpose, a reinforcing element is added to the circuit. I mean a transistor. The transistor amplifies the current from the divider and our circuit can already be used as a low power voltage stabilizer. Adding the second transistor to the circuit, we get a very large current gain and also unload the Zinier diode. Now, the main transistor will be controlled by the first transistor. That is, the Zinier diode in our circuit sets the output voltage limit. The variable resistor makes it possible to regulate this voltage and the transistor cascade amplifies the current. The main current flows through the upper transistor, so at high current it will heat up and therefore it needs a cooling radiator. Capacitors are needed to filter any noise and ripple. The output resistor is a load resistor designed for correct operation of voltmeter. Without it, when the output voltage decreases, the capacitor remains charged and the pointer of the voltmeter will deviate with delay. The resistance of this resistor may deviate from the indicated by 30%. The transformer should provide a voltage of 15 volts and a current of 1 ampere on the secondary winding. But I had on hand transformer only with 500 milliampere, so the unit is weaker than the originally planned. The diode recitifier is assembled from four diodes with a current of 1 ampere, or you can use a ready made diode recitifiers. I decided not to make PCB. Here, the components are arranged in a more original way. I use the voltmeter and an ammeter with pointer, but nothing prevents from using modern digital indicators. The box is completely made of 3 mm plywood, which was additionally treated with sandpaper and varnished. Next is the process of assembly. This stage is not worth commenting, so enjoy the pleasant music. The link to the channel of the author of the music will be found in the description.
As you notice, the power supply hasn't got a fuse on the input. It's wrong, but I used a very high quality transformer, which doesn't get warm even at the long term short circuit of the secondary winding. By the way, if there is need, then it is possible to add to the circuit the function of limiting the output current. As a result, we have created a simple universal laboratory power supply. It isn't a superpower unit, but for beginners it's quite good, and most importantly, you can literally collect it from the trash. This video has come to an end. If it was useful, then nothing prevents you from sharing a video with your friends in social networks. All the necessary information is as usual in the description. Moreover, there you will find links to purchase very good and budgetary laboratory power supplies. Thanks for watching. With you was Kassian TV.